everyone, it's Pickles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm very excited for the video today. So I've actually been traveling over the last week. I just got back a couple of days ago. I was on the East Coast. It was a lot of fun. I had a great time visiting some friends. Um, and it was my second time on the East Coast this summer, um, and both times I had gone to tour colleges. So I'm um, going to be a high school senior in the fall. So like many of us, I am starting the application process. And as I've been touring these different colleges across the country, I was noticing something which gave me the idea for today's video. So today we are going to be talking about a way in which a lot of us may encounter Latin pretty frequently and just not give it too much thought. So today we are going to be talking about college mottos. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So um, as I mentioned, today we are going to be discussing why so many college mottos are in Latin. Um, I'm not sure if you've noticed, I actually didn't until I was touring these schools, but a lot of them are. A lot of them are in Latin. I would say a majority of them are in Latin. So we're going to be looking at why that is and then look at a few famous examples of this. So to answer the first part of that, to answer the why, we really have to look at where the concept of the modern university of higher education in the Western world, where that really starts. So Western higher education really starts all the way back in the medieval Christian tradition. Um, and there's a word there which should really give you a clue as to how Latin plays into this already, and that's Christian. So um, a few hundred years ago, you basically had the establishment of what were called scolae monasticae. And this literally translates to monastery schools or cathedral schools. And they were schools established by the church with the primary focus was to um, basically educate clergy. Um, but it was the first idea of a university form. It was the first structure which can really be tied to the modern university. So basically how it would work is that young men would complete a series of requirements. One was called the trivium and one was called the quadrivium. And they were basically just subjects like grammar, astronomy, arithmetic. And once they completed these classes, they would then proceed into cathedral schools for higher education and training. So you can see it's not really that different from what we do today. We, you know, you have a series of class requirements, um, a certain number of years you spend in school, and then you go to college or university. So this process was further codified, put into law in 1079 when the Pope, his name was Pope Gregory VII, he issued what was called a papal bull. And a papal bull was really just um, a decree put out by the Pope. So he put out this decree um, and the, the point of the decree as a whole was basically to establish the authority of the church. But part of that was um, establishing and codifying the creation of more cathedral schools to educate the clergy and young men in general. So you can really see how tied in the church was in the creation of universities. Um, and this kind of continues for several years into more modern times. Now, if you watched my previous series of videos on Latin in the church, you'll know that Latin was very much the main language in the church, both spoken and written. So it, therefore, it makes a lot of sense that the mottos and phrases associated with universities created by the church would therefore be in Latin. And this is a trend which, like I mentioned, has definitely continued today. So a lot of the schools we see from Europe and in um, the United States do have Latin mottos. So now let's take a look at some famous examples of them and their translations. So one very well-known example of this is Harvard University, very simple motto, just veritas and this translates to truth. Another example of this is Columbia University, a slightly longer motto, theirs is in lumine tuo videbimus lumen, and it translates to in thy light we shall see light. 
This is actually um, even more of a religious connection. This is actually from a psalm, so it comes directly from a religious text. Another example in NYU, New York University, is per stare et praestare. It means to preserve and to surpass. Princeton is de sub numine viget. Um, again, another reference to God, de means God, and um, the whole phrase means it flourishes under the will of God. And lastly, looking at Yale, lux et veritas means light and truth. So we can see a few commonalities, um, the religious references, the idea of light, truth, and God definitely kind of are a common theme in these mottos, and it really just all ties back to the religious background from which these schools come from. So that's the answer as to why. Um, I had a lot of fun researching this video and visiting a bunch of these colleges to all the other high school seniors starting your application process. Best of luck. I know it's stressful, but we will get through it. And yeah, I hope to see you soon for our next video. Gonna be a lot of fun. But until then, I hope everyone has a great week. I hope everyone's summers are going well, and I'll see you soon. Bye!